So in today's video, I want to give you a bit of an update on our sauna project. We plan to build this wood-fired timber frame sauna in our backyard. Last summer, we took a nine-day timber framing course at the North House Folk School in Grand Marais, Minnesota. It was a fun working vacation, and besides falling in love with the town of Grand Marais and the North House Folk School, we also managed to build the timber frame and the rafters for the sauna. When I got back home, I completed the detailed design in SketchUp, and we hope to start construction sometime soon. Last spring, I cut down four large hybrid poplar trees from my friend Steve's family farm in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Later last fall, I came back and cut the logs into sections, and we then had a guy come in with his wood miser portable bandsaw mill and cut the trees into lumber. I think I got enough to provide material for the sauna roof decking, as well as the board and batten exterior siding, and enough left over for some future projects. I was definitely impressed with that wood miser saw. This version had all the bells and whistles to hydraulically load and position the logs, and Mike was quite skilled at operating it. Thankfully, Steve had lots of equipment that makes it easy to move logs and lumber. It was a hard day's work, but very satisfying. At the end of the day, it felt really good to be sitting by the fire, sipping bourbon in Steve's tavern room. I brought home one 16-foot trailer load of lumber immediately after cutting it, and that's now all stacked and stickered and stored in my barn, right next to the pine beams that we cut at the timber framing workshop. Recently, I got back to Pennsylvania to visit Steve, where we put that N-grade cutting board I made recently to good use. I'll include an information card in the link above for that video here. I made the cutting board as a thank you for both the trees and the help in getting them cut up. I also made a pair of Adirondack chairs that got left at the farm. It's a good idea to stay on the good side of friends who provide you with free lumber. So after the brisket, the next day we took another trip to Ligonier and loaded up another trailer load full of lumber. I got home just in time as the heavy snow had started to fall. The lumber waited there for a couple of weeks, and today we got around to unloading it. My wife, my daughter, and her boyfriend helped, and with many hands, the unloading went pretty quickly. So now the wood is stacked and stickered in the barn, where it will continue to dry until we can put it to use. I'm pretty sure that between the two loads, we'll have enough to complete the sauna roof decking and the board and batten siding. The other thing I did this weekend was unload a shaper that I bought in an auction in West Virginia but I was remiss in taking pictures and video of that trip. The shaper will come in handy for making tongue and groove and shiplap siding. So that wrapped things up for today. Uh, more updates coming soon. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.